Hey guys, this is Move Legacies and I'm here to give a contribution today as I have now garnered the ability to do so and would rather not waste it on doing something else. I'll elaborate on this later. But now, this piece is born out of an honest appreciation for the black women that have graced some of our favourite fighting games over the last 25 to 30 years and why I feel it's important for it not to slow down. Black characters in general are usually an overlooked choice as your front runner for video games and in most other forms of media. You'll be hard pressed to think of a video game with a black character taking centre stage on a video game case's inlay card. The reason given to me from a colleague on the video game course I undertook a few years back, stating that such a move is not marketable from a business standpoint never made sense to me and after the supreme success of the 2018 blockbuster Black Panther I'm even more doubtful by this thought process. The implications of this are not exactly too impactful for me right now because as an adult I have more control over the things that reach my computer screen. It is however more troubling for me to consider the more vulnerable of our community, namely our younger audience who grow up without a hero that looks like them. This is different than saying they grow up without a hero at all, as there are many heroes in media, and to this day, I have no qualms in saying my favourite hero is not the aforementioned Black Panther, or Django, Static Shock or the like, but rather somebody like Batman, or Monkey D. Luffy being a solid second. As I'm talking, I want you to realise that this isn't about hating on other races. I'm able to love a character based on their personality, lifestyle, inner strength and convictions attributes past the skin. However, a younger view may not be able to appreciate such things at such an early age. I would more than likely only gain base impressions of a character such as what they look like and what they do in their respective series. Because blacks tend to be absent from the central heroic role, then from that young viewer's perspective, can an opinion be formed on them? Well, yes, but it's captured elsewhere. And if you want to entrust a young sense of a black person to the music industry, Hollywood, or even your neighbourhood that you live in, then that's fine. What I hope to do, if God willing, I can give a character to the young that they can hopefully grow up with who possesses virtuous values and looks like them, and they can emulate and cosplay and extract their belief systems as they see fit. This previous statement is a half answer to what I meant by not wanting to waste my abilities as a new artist. Now moving back to this piece, what I like about the women in this piece is, and this wasn't a deliberate action, as long as you know who these characters are, not one of them exhibits any of the negative stereotypes that are usually positioned upon the black women in our society. And it's nice because it provides an alternative for a young black girl to emulate. You could be like Shaniqua down the road with her hand gesturing as if it was some sort of karate cut as she was practicing. Or you can be like one of the ladies illustrated in this picture who literally scours the world trying to befriend anyone and everyone she meets. I'll leave the better choice for you to decide. Now if you were, I'd like to move on to a little story of a young boy who is in year 6, which is the American equivalent of being in the 5th grade, incidentally. Now as part of a Christmas play, he is chosen to act as Santa Claus and in terms of his performance, one would say that there was no problems with the boy's portrayal and many would even say that he actually did relatively well in his execution. However, it was later found out by the young boy, after running into his friend, that despite his decent presentation, their dad had made the comment, Look, it's Santa with a dirty face. Now off of this story, there may not be much reason to discuss the issue of cosplaying as your favourite hero who may not share your skin colour. However, I believe it's far-fetched to say you won't at least meet a passerby who will bring forth the thought of a glaring mismatch if you decide to dress up as somebody who isn't a part of your own race. That being said, do whatever you wish to do regardless of anything I say. I just want to talk to the not so brave amongst us. So as mentioned before, I deeply appreciate these developers that include the black woman in their games. My only problem is, what are we doing? And the answer is partly all we can. There are many comics out there that are trying to make their way to the forefront of our youths, regardless of colour, but more can be done. And if you're a black artist and shy away from this issue, I solely believe you're part of the problem. And if you're a comic book reader and don't support these guys, don't be confused as to why there is such a shortage of black characters. The comic book slash manga can be part of the blueprint to which a series can evolve into something much more, but we have to support it, else those heroes will never be truly born. 
still, we'll always have the Quisha and June Bug to rely on, won't we? And with that said, I'm out. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> yes, fighting game specialist. Now, I played every single fighting game there is. You gotta tell me who dare. Who dare? I'm glad you asked. Is Irija. And she's not actually from a fighting game, but rather she's a character from my new book called Sown Amongst Thorns, which I'm getting ready to submit to several comic book publishers. My own attempt to tackle the problems detailed in this video. If I could ask anything from anybody who feels sensitive to the, to the problems I've discussed, whether you be black, white, Chinese, Indian or whatever, all I'd ask is support my new Instagram page or subscribe to my YouTube channel as I might start videoing my creative process when designing comic pages. You can think of this as a plea but at the same time I don't want to hold anyone hostage. You think the idea is generally lacking or whack, you're entitled to stray away from supporting my new work. However, if you see promise, let me know as it'll encourage me to keep on going, as I really am willing to do all I can to change this reality for the sake of the young. With that said, I really appreciate all the help I can get and for you listening today. Thank you in advance. I know one day we'll answer this question. Thanks a ton for listening to my truth and I will see you later.